Good morning students. We are discussing on water resource engineering and hydrology. Well, here we will discuss about floods. So, what is flood? A flood can be defined uh, in many ways. The first we can say a flood is a relatively high stage of river uh, that overtops the natural or artificial banks in any reach of a stream. Well, also the flood is a result of runoff from the rainfall and uh, melting of snow in a quantity is too great to be uh, confined in the low water channel or we can say uh, to the stream. Well, when the banks are overtopped, water is sprayed over the flood plain and thus it causes damage to the crops or to the properties within the flood plain. Well, sometimes flood may result in a loss of animals and human life. So that, that flood control is required to reduce the flood damage. So, however, it is not economically feasible to have an uh, absolute uh, control over the flood. So that the aim while planning the flood control should be to adopt the measures which reduce the flood damage. Well, in fact, uh, the measures are adopted for the flood mitigation and not for the flood control. Thus, the flood control or flood management is defined as the prevention or reduction of the flood damage because uh, we cannot uh, eliminate or we cannot uh, remove the flood. Okay, so as a precaution, we just have to ready for the flood control measures or the flood mitigations. Well, so first let's discuss about some causes of the flood. Well, the first that is the intensity of the rainfall. Whenever there is a heavy precipitation over the catchment in the terms of intensity or the duration and the spread. So when uh, there is the, a heavy precipitation, the river will carry high flow and thus this is the main reason of a river to be in a flood. So the intensity of the rainfall in the catchment area is the main cause of the flood. So if the rainfall is normal uh, and the storm duration is a short, the surface runoff will flow smoothly through the tributaries and the river will not create any problem to the downstream areas. But if the rainfall is very heavy and the storm duration is longer, then the surface runoff will be increased and it may exceed the normal carrying capacity of the river and hence overtopping of the river banks may occur and the surrounding area may get flooded. The next cause that is the topography of the catchment, it will also affect the flood. Well, it is obvious that larger size of the catchment, more will be the flood. And the catchment area with the steep slope that will also increase the runoff. And as it increases the runoff, will increase the sediment inflow due to the high velocity of the flood as it has the steep slope. Now, while the catchment area with the flatter shock reduce runoff and it reduces the sediment inflow due to the low velocity of the flow because the slope is flat. Well, the shape of the basin also uh, definitely affect the flood as here you can see for a fan shaped catchment, the time of concentration will be less and hence the storm hydrograph base period will be less and the peak flow will be more as against these uh, in the elongated shaped catchment which is having uh, equal area and the same storm the time of concentration will be more and the storm hydrograph base period will be more so the peak flow will be comparatively less and that's why the size slope and uh, shape of the catchment area directly affect the flow of the river 
and this flow of the river will also affect the flood. So intensity of rainfall and the topography of the catchment area. The third cause that is the sedimentation of rivers and the reservoir. Well, reduction in the flood control capacity of the reservoir due to uh, unpadded heavy silting will affect the flow of the river. Well, if the tributary of a river carry a heavy sediment load, the river bed goes on silting up gradually every year. It will affect the carrying capacity of the river and ultimately the cross sectional of the river will be shallow. Now, it will not be able to carry the high flood flow as the cross sectional area uh, of the river is getting shallow and thus the sediment of the river and the reservoir are responsible for the flood because at the initial stage with that proper depth the water capacity of that reservoir uh, would be something else after that the water carrying capacity of the river will get decreased and that's why it may cause the flood and be responsible for the flood then the obstruction in the river flow whenever there is a heavy landslide in the river it may cause the flood on the upstream side due to the arrest of the flow and uh, consequent rise in the water level well due to heavy rainfall when the water pressure reaches a maximum value then suddenly that obstruction may be removed and a high column of the water may rush downstream area well obstruction uh, in a river bed changes in the river course and it resulting in a flooding by the river flowing over land outside its channel well the fifth is the inadequate cross drainage box well construction of a cross drainage box reduce the depth of flow for the high flood flow now uh, in the cross drainage box like adequate the river passes below the canal here the structure which is constructed for the smooth running of the river flow may be inadequate for the high flood flow and water level may be rise on the upstream side and may submerge the surrounding area the sixth that is the contraction of a river section well inadequate uh, waterway at the rail and road uh, crossing will affect the river flow while constructing a road or a railway bridge across the river the approach works are done on both the banks which reduce the cross sectional area of the river also in the middle section we are constructing a pier uh, that may also uh, give not sufficient outlet uh, to the water and that's why it may allow the high flood of in this case, the water rises on the upstream side due to the insufficient passage and uh, thus the upstream area may get flooded. Some other uh, causes are also there that the flood may be caused due to the heavy melting of snow and ice. In case there is a breach of a dam and that may also rush towards, uh, that may also cause the heavy flood for a short period sometimes because of the earthquake it may so happen that the river bed is rise and this may cause the flood on the upstream side so these are the causes of floods well the next that is the method of flood control well various methods are adopted for the flood control and it is classified into few categories the first that is the methods that are adopted to modify the flood then the methods adopted to modify the susceptibility of flood damages and the methods adopted to reduce the loss well uh, the methods adopted to modify the flood uh, is like uh, flood control measures for the channel phase flood control measures for the land phase and the atmosphere well uh, all this may include that, like construction of reservoir uh, diversion of flood water 
then improvement of river channel, the construction of emergency floodways, use of natural tents and basins, like uh, providing watershed to the uh, providing watershed management to the catchment. So, uh, discussing about the methods adopted to modify the susceptibility of the flood damage. Well, the flood plain management, adoption of suitable development policies uh, affecting the structural changes, flood proofing of APRs, flood forecasting and flood warning. These are also the methods uh, that adopted to modify the susceptibility of the flood damage. While the methods those are adopted uh, to reduce the loss because of the flood. So for that some uh, emergency evacuations can be done, then uh, flood proofing, then uh, adopting uh, suitable public measures, uh, then flood insurance. These are uh, the methods that can be adopted uh, to reduce the loss because of the flood. So these are the probable methods of flood control. Okay. Now uh, if we talk about the flood damage analysis. Well, the flood damage analysis. Well, uh, to analyze the flood damage, the first we should uh, know that the damages that is being done due to the flood disaster. First, that done, uh, the first that can happen that is the damage to the crops. The damage can be uh, the the damage can be happen to the houses, the human lives. Uh, the damage to the livestock, to the public utilities like road, rails, uh, etc. Then also the damages of uh, financial, that is the cost of relief measures. So all this been uh, comes under the damages that can happen because of the flood disaster. Now the there are two different types of damages. Okay, uh, the first damage that is the uh, direct damage and the second that is the indirect damage well talking about the direct damage uh, that result due to the physical contact of the flood of water for an example uh, the damage to the crops the damage to the houses uh, to the livestock so these are considered as a uh, uh, direct damage that is directly in the contact with the flood water okay because of crop uh, the house and uh, human lives okay then also some public utilities like road bridges railways this uh, will be directly uh, contacted or directly connected with the flood water when the flood occurs so these are considered as the direct damage and talking about the indirect damage uh, it results to the property or the services which are not touched by flood water but it is a loss or the damage as the result of the interrupted trade or the division of railways and traffic etc or other effects we can see for an example we can say uh, the factories shops business uh, business center in the flood affected areas that are closed okay also resulting in the loss of their owners uh, stoppage of industrial productions and temporary unemployment of works so these are comes under the indirect damage that we can assume that uh, uh, economical loss so that is also indirect damage uh, some unemployment okay so that may lead to the damage to the human lives also so that comes under the indirect damage okay so we are uh, resting our lecture till this topic okay thank you so much students for your kind attention i hope you understand all these topics properly thank you i will see you in the next lecture